So, man cavers, we are back with the mystery engine. I think we need to see if we can get this puppy going. Right, I've had to film this intro try twice, because the first intro what i done come out in portrait, not landscape. So you'd be watching a little slither. So this is after I've done the work. But there you go. We'll pretend it's at the beginning. Here's our tools. Let's get on and do this engine. Aha! Anyhow, before we get into it, has anybody guessed what make this engine is yet? We have had Stuart Turner. We have had um, Ruston. We've had Simplicity. We've had Briggs and Stratton. We've had Onan. We've had Villiers, we've had Jap, we've had several. Only one person has guessed the manufacturer, and they don't even know the model. I don't know the model. I know what the manufacturer is, but I don't know what the model is, and I'd love to know what the model is so I can go around dating this thing. So yes, keep on guessing, guys. I will reveal it in the next video, just to give you a couple of days to... You know, for the viewers that haven't caught up and watched the video yet, they need to have a little guess as well, don't they? So I'm not going to let the car out the bag today. We'll let the car out the bag probably next week or in the next video. So let's get into this and see if we can get her running. Ha-ha! Roll the credits! Welcome to the Man Cave. Let the games begin. So, here we are. I think we need to start with some basics of what we're going to do with our mystery engine. Right, because we need to do some tests. Um, well, basic. Check oil. Well, that's one hell of a dipstick. Look at the minimum, maximum. That oil actually looks quite good. As I say, this did come from a gentleman who actually did use to rally engines. But he said this one hadn't been sort of... Well, this hadn't... None of his engines had really been run since about 1992. So this is 30-odd years it's been sitting. Now, this to me seems like it's... That float don't seem to have a lot of lift and push in it. So I think first thing is to take the top off this carb. I don't particularly want to remove the whole carb, but if we can get the top off it. I love old engines, they just come to bits. Look at that, them screws just come straight undone. But it was stored in a nice garage. Ah. Ah. There, there ain't a lot of lift because you just got little weights, look. There you go, we just got little push weights, look. That's why we didn't have a lot of lift on it. It's the float free in there. Can we get the float out, actually? Come on. There we go. We have our float out. I can see why there ain't a lot of lift. There isn't meant to be, look. So, that's there. So when your float comes up, it lets the needle down, which closes it off. So pushing that down closes the fuel off. Right, I see. So to prime it, you've got to lift that, keep that lifted up. So that's basically a tickler. But when that's full, that goes down. Right, okay. What's it like in there? Do you know, I think we need to just get an airline and blow about inside that carb. Because there look like a bit of dust in there. Let me get you down. So you can have a look in that carb. Is there anything in the tank? Sure. That is tight. Cool. Bone dry. 
it doesn't even smell of petrol so yeah this hasn't ran for absolutely years you can tell that you can tell by the surface patina on it all right i need to get a compressor going blow that out so i can see some grit in the bottom there so let me get the compressor on all right we have our compressor on and we should have a little bit of air whoops a daisy yeah oh yeah look at that Yep, all that crap would have gone into that carpet. Right. Now, if I remember rightly, this fuel pipe was dodgy. Yeah. So I'm going to replace this bit of fuel pipe. I have a new piece here. Oh. Let's have a look. What are we doing? I was going to blow through this petrol tap. So that's on. That's off. That's on. That's off. So we know this is on. Ah, does this tap in the tank work? Cool. Cool, she's telling yeah, so that one's on. That one's off. Now it has our new piece of fuel pipe. Let's just get him on this tank. Mm. Here we go, hand round on here. These are not the right fittings, I know, but this will get us out of a muddle just to test. Come on! Oh. Right, I reckon we're... Ah, we're up, we're up. Whatever's this old petrol tube here? This old petrol tube ain't very substantial. That's just cracked on me. Cheap Chinese bloody rubbish. Right. Let me get some side cutters and trim them off and we'll try that again. Right. No messing around this time. I've got a blowtorch to heat the pipe up. This was cheap Chinese fuel pipe. We just want to heat that end up. And hopefully I don't do some grit. Wow, look at that. I should have done that. Put a bit of lubrication around there. There we go. She's on. Right, same with this end. There we go. we go we got one end on we got the petrol pipe on excellent stuff now is it worth me dumping a bit of fuel in here and just seeing if that comes up through the car i can always turn it off We'll give that a try, I think. I think we'll dump a bit of petrol in it. And see if it actually gets up to the carb. There we go, we've got half a tank of petrol. 
Let's see if we get anywhere. Petrol on. Wow, look at us coming up here, look. It's coming through here. Ah, there it comes. Can you guys see that? Spilling that carb up. So if we turn this off, ah, that, that tap work as well, look. Look at that, look, 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 look. Perfect. So let's drop our float in. That seemed to be working. Ah, we've got an overflow here, look. Right on with you. So let's get him back together. And then we'll see if this float mechanism actually works. We shall see, won't we? So let's get our screws back in. And then I think that's a case of cleaning the points up in this distributor. Taking the plugs out. Right. Petrol is back on. And we haven't got a drip. Yeah, the petrol's back on and we haven't got a drip. So lift that up. And there you go. That's leaking. Let it down. That stops. Brilliant. So. Yeah, I'm just blowing the petrol out of that overflow. Very crude, that overflow. I basically just go into the flute bowl. Look. Here, I think, is our choke. Right. So, I think I'm going to say our fuel system's all right. I'm not going to upset all this at the minute. Because the guy did say that ran last time he had it out. Although, that was a lot of years ago. That's the important bit, I think. I'm pretty sure. This bit is just the Venturi and the air inlet and the manifold. I'm sure this and the throttle flap is absolutely fine. So, let's get this. Oh, these are, I don't like these blue ignition leads that I've put on here. I'm not keen on them blue ignition leads at all. So, let's get this cap off. There we go, we've got a square distributor cap, look. What's it like inside? Where are we? Are You can't see nothing here, look. There we go. There's our cap. What? Well, look at that. that the two of them have been blocked off with silicone, look. Oh, little screw connectors. All right, nice to have them little acorn connectors like the old Lucas. Like the old Lucas distributor that. That actually looks all right. What's the rotor arm like? I've seen worse. Remove to oil. That's going to be our next thing, really. See if we've got any sort of spark. Let me get my little nail file, what I use to clean points up. So we're going to just clean our points up now. Down here. Somewhere there. We've got to clean our points. Yeah. Yeah. And really, check, we've got some sort of gap. Oh, yeah, we've got a gap in the points. I think there we go. There's the points right where this thing's pointing. There we go, look. So they're open a little bit. Oh, they are corroded. We weren't going to get much spark out of them. So we use the old woman's nail file. Mrs. Man Cave will love me for this. Yeah. Give them a good sand up. 
blow out. You know, I think this is looking hopeful. Shall we just bang the plugs out of this and see what they are like? There we go. I do think we need to put a little bit of oil down that distributor shaft because this thing hasn't turned for so long. Just a little bit of routine maintenance. Right, I think, yes, we need to get a plug off. Right, let's just undo a plug off one end there. Here we go. Oh, ah. Well, that plug ain't a lot of good to us. I think we got a problem. What do you guys think? Have we got a problem with this plug? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that's going to run again on that, do you? Nope. It's a shame, guys. A nice old plug, look. Well, there you go. That's kaput. Yep, definitely kaput. So, we'll have to see if we've got another one. Let's see if we can get, see what this plug is like in this end. Look at that. I like this. Alright, All right, that's out. Have I got a socket? What will go in there and fit it? Does that look like a sizable plug? That is a sizable plug, and I don't think I've got a deep socket big enough to get that out, you know. I've got standard sockets, but I haven't got a big enough deep to get in there. Well, ain't that a corker? That plug's going to have to stay put, I think. So we'll just put E back on. Put E there and say, that's good. <laughs> All right, I'm getting impatient now. I want to get this thing oiled. Battery on it. See if we've got a spark. Off we go. All right, let's have a look. Ah, what are we doing? So how far have we got? That's it. We need a plug for that end, don't we? Let me have a route around in the shed and find one. There we are. I found a new plug. What I put in an old list to be. And I only run for a couple of minutes on it. So that plug is good. Right. Um, I think we can get some lubrication down the cylinders for putting some WD down the valve springs. And that will run through the valves into the cylinder. So we're not going to bother putting a lot of lubrication in the cylinder. We'll do that through the valve springs. We're just going to get this plug on. Now, have I got a battery? Help me understand. I think so. Right, plug us on. Plug definitely on. I don't like the blue leads the gentleman spitted. I think we've got to lose these blue leads. Right, distributor, rotor arm. We'll just give him a shine up. We've got a little bit of pitting in that rotor arm, but I think that'll get us out of a muddle. There we go, rotor arm is clean. That'll do nicely. Yeah, that rotor arm will do nicely. So I think we're now got to put these wires for our coil onto a battery. And see. Uh, I'm quite impressed with this. This petrol's not leaking. That's really good. That's still on. So which one's this? This is the live, isn't it? Uh, that will be alive. Yeah, this one's an earth that go with the engine. Oh yeah, it says on there, distributor side, battery side. There we go. So we've got to connect this somehow to a battery. 
I used to have a little tiny 12 volt battery that went in house alarms, which had um, spay connectors on. I wonder if I still got that. Probably not. We're probably going to have to use a car battery, aren't we? Right, let me go ferret around and find a battery. Get an oil can so we can go around this distributor and that. Just give her a little bit of oil. Then we'll get her together and see if it fires off. Ah, right, here we go. Hey uh, <clears throat> We have a battery. So this one's battery side. I managed to find a battery. Let me strip a bit more of these wire, this insulation off here. Yeah, of course this battery is out of the camper van and it's actually got bolts so we can just wrap him around and do the bolt up. Yeah. Now are we going to get any sort of spark? Right, so far so good. We ain't got any arcing from the battery terminals. And I think this battery is charged because I did charge them all. So let's wrap him around there. And tighten him up a bit. Yeah, earth, earth, yep, yeah, we're right. Now then, we've got to see if we've got any sort of spark. Yep. Yep. When them points open. When them points open, we've got a great spark. So that's telling me that coil's working. I'm just going to rub them points up just a tad more. So if we've got a spark at the distributor, the likelihood is we're going to have a spark up the plugs. Unless we've got a cap or lead problem, but I'm going to assume they're good. You know what they say, assumption is the mother of all F-ups. But we'll see, won't we? And yes, I have disconnected that from the battery before I start putting my fingers in points. There we go. Give him another little blow off. Now, like I was saying, we're going to put a little bit of penetrating oil just down that shaft. That'll just oil up. That distributor bear and what's in there, because there's a ball race. You don't want too much oil running about, because that splash on your points. And the last thing we want to do is get our points oily. There we go. So we can just blow the excess off. There we are. Them points are certainly clean now. Right. Get our battery back on here. Double check we got spark again. Yep. 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 You guys can probably hear that. Right. So we can get this cap back on. I am just going to file up these. Where are the contacts we use? These two. So we'll just file these two up. Just to shine them a little. Remember, we only use two of these, so...
There we go. So let's get our, our coil back on. So we want this main lead out of the coil. Into there. Come on, get in. There you go. You're in, sunshine. This one will come up here. This one... That's a very crude cap someone's put on there, but there you go. We better just put that back on. That one can come in here. Oh, that cap ain't no good. Let me just nip this up a little so I'm touching the contacts a bit better. There you go, we're on there now. This one don't feel particularly tight either. So let's nip him up a little. There we go. Right. I think, you know, we're ready to see if this little puppy fires off. We've got oil in there. Let's squirt some WD down the valve springs. Just so we got some oil in the cylinders. There we go. Right. I think we can see if see if this little puppy will actually start now. Oh, what are these coil wires doing? Are they hanging in the flywheel? No. I'm going to turn that exhaust that way. This is where it kicked back at me. Right, let's get this fuel on. That is on. Whoops, a daisy. What's going on here? The little cap has come off. Hang on. That little cap on there is threaded and that's come off a little. I like to screw on. Right. Well, we ain't got the rotor on back in, look. I'm getting carried away, guys, aren't I? I was going for a fire up, we ain't even got the rotor on back in. How many of you guys knew what's that and went, the idiot didn't put the rotor on back in? There we go, that's back on. Well, that was never going to go with no rotor arm in, was it? Wow, well, wasn't that a rum job? Oh, I don't know, where's on and off for this throttle, so we'll go halfway, I think. Whoop, the hell, we had a spark. Oh, look, oh, whoop, look at that. Maybe we don't need all that joke. Look, look, look. She's away. Wow. Look at that. Wow, look at that. There we go. Well, isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? What the hell? Look at that! <laughs> Isn't it lovely? 
Now I haven't told you guys what this is yet, and nor am I going to. You're going to have to keep on a guessing for a couple of days. That's why I'm not going around this side too much, God. Aren't you seeing the name on the bottom there? Well, there you go. She goes. She lives. Lovely. Don't that run absolutely beautiful? Look at that. <laughs> right, there you go. Man Cave is more than happy at his purchase of the mystery engine. Come on, what is this mystery engine? Keep guessing. Not Stuart Turner. Not Simplicity. It's not Onan. It's not Briggs and Stratton. You know, it's not Jap. It's not Villiers. So come on, what is it? It's not a Japanese engine, I can tell you that now. All I'm going to say is, it's either from the UK or America. That's the only clues you're getting. So what is it? Apart from bloody lovely. <laughs> right, I'm going to go. Because I'm over the moon at how this little thing is running. I mean, that is just... Adorable, isn't it? Absolutely adorable. Good point is, how do you turn it off? Just disconnect the battery, I assume. Oh, she is a lovely little lump. I really like that. Right, that's it. I'm going now. Bye-bye for now. Ha-ha! We can't leave it there, can we? You guys want to see it start. There Pete go. A nice hot start. She's been going about half an hour. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Look at that, look at that. Don't she run a tree? <laughs> and the smoke we had has virtually stopped. There's a little bit coming out. Considering I'm over the moon. That is just so sweet. So guys, is that a rally piece? Is that something we can show at the shows? It's very unusual. It's something very different. So I reckon this could well be a rally piece. Let's turn her off. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. So, any of you guys know what the mystery engine is yet? Hmm? We will see. And in case you're wondering, yes, I know the bottom has dropped off this automatic choke business. There's an electromagnetic choke that come up on here. But I seem to have fell to pieces. Well, I should just use the manual choke there. I shan't bother with this, so I'll probably bond that back onto that magnet where it should be, and that can just stay there. So I think that's meant to be bonded on in here, and the whole magnet and plunger go up and down the shaft. Why am I doing this? You know what I mean. Right, I just had to add this little bit to the end of the video. Right, I'm going.
<laughs> definitely it though. Do you know what? I actually love this little thing now. That is cool as hell. All right, see you later. Bye-bye for now. Ha-ha!